Hello, welcome to the Mark Denard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over the roadmap to become a penetration tester. Okay, this is a penetration tester, and this is the modern one. I'm not giving you something from like 1990s or early 2000s. Finally, an explanation. This is 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So penetration testers or pen testers for short perform simulated cyber attacks on a company's computer systems and networks. These authorized tests help identify security vulnerabilities and help weaknesses before malicious hackers have the chance to exploit them. So a career as a pen tester often starts as you know, an entry level cybersecurity position. So what do penetration testers do, right? As a penetration tester, you'll take a proactive offensive role in cybersecurity by performing attacks on a company's existing digital systems. These tests might use a variety of hacking tools and techniques to find gaps that hackers could exploit. Throughout the process, you'll document your actions in detail and create a report on what you did and how successful you were at breaching said system, you know, you know, breaching the security protocols in general, right? Let's get into the realm of penetration tester tasks and responsibilities. So the day-to-day -day tasks of a pen tester will vary depending on the organization, right? So let's get into some common tasks and responsibilities that you as a, you know, up and coming pen penetration tester will encounter. Uh, but before I do that, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button, okay? So let's get into it. You're gonna perform tests on applications, network devices, and cloud infrastructures. You're gonna design and conduct simulated social engineering attacks. It might be on you know other colleagues or other employees of the company. You're gonna research and experiment with different types of attacks. As you learn attacks, as you you know you hear newsletters and you see vulnerabilities, you test them out and you see is you know is the company or whatever is susceptible to it. You're gonna develop method uh, methodologies for penetration testing. You're gonna review code for security vulnerabilities. You're gonna reverse engineer malware or spam. You're gonna document security and compliance issues. You're going to automate co uh, common testing techniques to improve efficiency. You're going to write technical and executive reports. You're going to communicate findings to both technical staff and executive leadership. You're going to validate security improvements with additional testing. So how can you become a penetration tester? So as a penetration tester, you can earn a paycheck by legally hacking into security systems. It can be very fast paced. You know, it can be a fast paced, exciting job. If you have an interest in cybersecurity and problem solving, you're gonna need them problem solving skills, right? <laughs> we got hacked, we got hacked. I'm a problem solver, I'm gonna come to save the system. That's you. <laughs> so uh, let's take a closer look at the steps that you might need to take to get your first job as a penetration tester. Number one, you're gonna wanna develop your penetration testing skills. Penetration testers need a solid understanding of information technology, also, you know, IT, and security systems in older, uh, in older, <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not a penetration tester, right? <laughs> and security systems in order to test them for vulnerabilities, right? S you know, some of the skills that you might need or, you know, you're, you're going to find that is, is very valuable as, you know, as a pen tester include network and application security programming languages but mark which ones there's so many out there which ones i got you bro just calm down you're a penetration tester you're gonna just calm down that's, that's what i'm talking about you see that's what i'm talking about but <laughs> some of those uh languages are python bash b-a-s-h java ruby and Perl. next is threat modeling next is linux windows and mac os environments security assessment tools, pen test management platforms, technical writing and documentation, cryptography, cloud architecture, and very important, especially since the, you know, COVID-19 and the world happened, remote access technologies. So now that we've kind of get into that realm, now let's get into the realm of your weapons, right? Popular penetration tester tools. So today's penetration testers have a range of tools to help make their jobs faster and more efficient. So if you're interested in becoming a pen tester, it can help you to gain famili familiarity with one or more of these tools. So you, as a penetration tester, you are as powerful and as automated and as efficient as your weapons, right? You're gonna need, the the, the more you learn this we these weapons, the better. Number one, Kali Linux, popular test, you know, popular pen testing operating system. 
Nmap, I've been hearing Nmap in, in the sphere lately. So Nmap, which is a port scanner for network discovery. Another one that I've been hearing more and more in the sphere is Wireshark, right? Which is a packet sniffer to analyze traffic on your network. And then we have, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's not. We have John the Ripper, which is a open source password cracker, right? Depending on the situation, it might be relevant or not. Uh, next, we have Burp Suite, which is the application security testing tools. And uh, Nessus, which is the vulnerable uh, vulnerability assess, uh, assessment tool. And OWASP Zap Proxy, which is a web application security scanner. You're then going to want to enroll in a course or training program. So enrolling in a specialized course or training program is one of the best ways to start developing the skills you need as a penetration tester. With these types of programs, you can learn in a more structured environment while building multiple skills at once. Okay. And, uh, you know, you have everything from hack the box, try hack me, all those kinds of platforms. Please take advantage of those. They, they are excellent. You know, they, they're really popular. Uh, next, you're going to want to get certified cybersecurity certifications demonstrate to recruiters, employers, etc., hiring managers, hiring managers that you have the skills required to succeed in the industry, right? Because it's a very technical industry. Uh, in addition to these more general cybersecurity certifications, you can also get certified in penetration testing or ethical hacking. And when it comes to penetration testing, ethical hacking, uh, you really want to consider these certifications because the, these demonstrate that you really know what you're doing. Uh, you have the CEH, which is the certified ethical hacker. You have the CompTIA Pentest Plus. You have the GIAC penetration tester, also known as the GPEN. You have the GIAC Web Application Penetration Tester, also known as the GWAPT. You have the Offensive Security Certified Professional, also known as OSCP. You have the Certified Penetration Tester, the CPT. You And then you can, um, again, practice in real and simulated environments. So many companies want to hire penetration testers with previous experience. So, you know, there are ways of gaining experience outside the workplace. So, you know, many pen testers, you know, they train with programs uh, like we talked about, you know, in simulated, you have the try hack me, the hack the box, things of that nature. And also bug bounty programs, right? Go on Google, go wherever and, and, and see if you can find bug bounty programs. That way you can gain experience and really make your resume stand out that you participated in stuff like that. So uh, that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Is there a better way to become a penetration tester? Please let me know in the comment section below. Stay safe. I see you in the next video.